Antigua and Barbuda is hosting the first of its kind regional information drug network workshop at the Jolly Beach Resort. The two-day forum has attracted the participation of delegates from 14 Caribbean countries, including Bermuda. Elisa Graham was present at Wednesday's opening ceremony. Director of the Office of National Drug and Money Laundering Control Policy, ONDCP, Lieutenant Colonel Edward Croft, in thanking the partners for their involvement in bringing the meeting to a reality, details its significance. This is the first regional workshop of this type within the Caribbean, and it is a credit to the Organization of American States and to the Canadian government, whose support has made this workshop a reality that there exists the vision to address this important strategic regional vulnerability. Antiguan Barbuda's resident representative to the OAS, Jean Rico Dormius, says through the workshop efforts will increase to establish the regional drug information network. He gives a synopsis of some of the other areas that will be covered in the next two days. Some of the key areas of focus in this workshop will be the definition of standard indicators for DINs, the fostering of a commitment by countries to produce annual DIN reports, as well as the implementation of a pilot project to improve the availability of information from treatment centers in Caribbean countries. The training and strategizing focus of this workshop is very encouraging as it speaks to capacity building and institution strengthening. Feature speaker, Prime Minister Baldwin Spencer, says government is working towards a number of accomplishments in eradicating drugs and lessening abuse. It is my understanding that this drug information network is a system of standardized data collection procedures specifically geared towards collecting information on drug use, their demand, the supply and the treatment, and that the analysis of this data will help to inform general policies on drug use, prevention in schools and the workplace. Also, government's policy on legislation, control of precursor chemicals and pharmaceuticals to ensure adequate processes are in place to prevent abuse. The workshop is organized by the Organization of American States, OAS, in collaboration with the government of Antigua and Barbuda, the Inter-American Drug Control Commission, and the International Narcotics and Law Enforcement of the U.S. Department of State, with further assistance from Canada.